Hi, hello, and welcome to today's video. So as you guys can see from the title today, we're talking all about style, how I have been able to kind of discover what I feel comfortable and confident wearing. And I know that it can actually be really intimidating picking out outfits because I've been the person that had a closet full of clothes but nothing to actually wear. So the first thing that you want to do when trying to discover what you feel comfortable wearing is just looking inside your closet. Take your top five most worn pieces. You want to try to use the clothes that you already have because no one has thousands of dollars to drop on a whole new closet. We're not trying to do that. Use the stuff that you already have and kind of just work around that. Go by categories. So your most worn pair of pants, shoes, jacket, purse, and top and just lay those out and look at them. From there, you should actually be able to see a color pattern. I think that everyone has their own palette that they are comfortable wearing. I've always been someone that gravitates towards neutrals. So I like colors like nude, gray, white, black, brown, especially in 2020, brown has been a big color. So once you figure out your color pattern and you have a few of your staple basic pieces, I recommend you actually go on Instagram or Pinterest. I know a lot of people like to use those little Pinterest boards. I personally really enjoy just saving things on Instagram. Um, and you wanna go ahead and just find some inspiration. That is what I did over the last year and a half, I would say. I would look at the way other people style their clothes. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. It was outfits that I liked, then I would just press the little save button on Instagram and try to see if I could get close to a similar outfit from the clothes that I already have in my closet. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few of my personal staple pieces. Since it's winter, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite sweater that I've been wearing nonstop. This cozy, comfy sweater is from Boohoo and I am partnering with them on this video today. So I will have all the items that I talk about linked in the description bar, including this sweater. And if you're looking to get some staples, then I definitely recommend Boohoo. I think that they have a very big selection. It can fit pretty much anyone's style. This sweater is pretty long, as you guys can see. And since I live in LA, I get to get away with this, which is really nice. But I really like to wear my sweaters and all my tops pretty much cropped. I just think that it's a really cute look, especially when you have a high-waisted pair of jeans. So what I'll do typically is I'll wear a bralette underneath. You can even do a sports bra if you want to be comfortable and then I tuck it on the inside and you totally don't have to do this if you don't feel comfortable or if it's just too damn cold <laughs> that's the best part about tucking your sweaters or even your shirts you don't have to cut them so you have a lot of ways that you can wear this a sweater like this is really nice it's versatile in many ways because you can also wear it with a pair of tights and a skirt or just a pair of leggings and boots I made this rule for myself and I highly recommend you guys do the same if I want to buy some Something, I try to imagine at least three totally different ways that I could wear it and if I can do that then I buy it if I can't if it's something that I'm like okay I could only wear it with one outfit then usually I walk away from it just because it's not worth it my next staple item is a jacket now this is going to vary depending on where you live personal favorite and go-to during this winter time has been this faux leather jacket you guys I am so in love with it it's the most perfect reddish burgundy color because i have a lot of neutral pieces it goes well with pretty much everything i got it at a local boutique called skylark here in venice california but i'm gonna try and link a few similar pieces online that i've been able to find since it's winter we're gonna stick to winter fashion but maybe i'll do another one um, in like the springtime or the summertime depends if you guys enjoy this video but my number one staple pair of boots are doc martens this is an investment pair of boots definitely and you can totally find something similar that might not be as expensive but I got them two winters ago and I swear to you guys I wear these at least four times a week during the winter time so I definitely think that they're worth it they are comfortable they're durable like I said I like to wear neutrals I think that they're very easy to pair with other neutrals I recommend having a staple pair of jeans my absolute favorite ones are the most simple pair they don't have any rips on them there's no crazy colors or designs or anything like that it's just a very basic pair of denim these are the ribcage straight jeans from levi's definitely an investment but these jeans fit so great whenever i put them on i feel so comfortable i feel confident they're pretty high-waisted the way that they sit on your butt is these are my most worn pair and the color is 
perfect. You need a staple bag. I actually have two that are very, very different. This little purse is from Brandy Melville and I have been wearing it 24 seven. It fits more than I ever thought it would. And these bags are very in style right now. That's another tip that I have for you. Just try and pay attention to trends. If you don't like them, you don't like them, but there's always something that you can pick up from trends, even if it's inspiration to just go in your own direction. And they got me with this one. I really like the way the purse is like this look. I think that they're just so cute, pretty comfortable, and they just remind me of the 90s, which is my favorite, favorite era. Ask yourself, if you're looking back in history, if you are watching any old movies, what era really inspires you? What do you find cool? For me, it's the 90s, it's always been. And it's really cool that that's really in right now. Like Now this bag here is actually from Lulu's and it's a little bit more of an investment piece. I got it, I wanna say last year for Christmas. Pretty much any time that I'm using my laptop, I will be using this bag. Um, it goes on your shoulder and as you guys can see, it fits into the color scheme that I like. A few of my other staples from Boohoo that you can wear in many ways are, one, this little plain long sleeve crop top that actually has a turtleneck. This you could wear on its own. You could also wear it with a sweater vest. The possibilities are endless. Um, there's so many things that you can do. You can put a nice statement jacket on top of it. Something I learned about myself through style is I feel a lot more comfortable and confident in jeans, a cropped sweater or hoodie, and boots versus dresses and skirts. That for me is kind of intimidating. So when I was first starting out with figuring out my style, I stayed completely away from skirts and dresses. However, now that I've kind of settled into my style, I feel a lot more comfortable wearing things that I wouldn't have been in the past. And it's all through trial and experimentation. That does not mean pushing my own boundaries to wear things or purchase things that I know I don't feel good in, but it is trying things on and returning them if I don't like them. I tried on a few of those long bodycon dresses before I actually found one that I like, but I have found one and as you guys can see, it's in the same exact color scheme, which if you're gonna wear something that's kind of outside of your comfort zone, you wanna make sure that at least the color of it or the material, all of those things are up to your liking. This dress is from Boohoo. It goes really well with Doc Martens and my little side purse from Brandy Melville. I'm sure you guys have noticed I wear minimal amounts of jewelry. I have my staple pieces in that department as well. These two rings are my go-to about 90% of the time and they're actually my grandma's rings. She gifted them to me a year and a half ago and I love them so much. I think that they are the perfect gold which fits in with my <laughs> neutral theme um, for my clothes. My necklace, which I've never taken this off and I get questions on all the time, is from Majuri. I love their pieces so much. It is never tarnished. It hasn't broken off. I feel like I need to knock on wood for that. And then my earrings are just little studs and small hoops. I think your style will kind of change with you as a person. So um, that's really cool and fun and honestly gives you something to look forward to does for me for sure. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Um, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and we can all talk about style. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.